Okay, so we are live. We're going to start out by waiting for everyone to join us this evening. The 12th edition of Virtual Vino with DMV Distributor. Now on screen here, we do have where the wines were available this week. All four of these delicious Spanish reds from Humia, Spain. Alan, I know you're on here with me as well right now. Um, and you know that this is one of my favorite wine regions, as well as some of my favorite wineries. So I am not excited at all. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. Yana, Yana is going to be a great guest. Everyone's going to learn a lot today. I completely agree. Now, for those of you that are joining us, please let us know in the comments where you're joining us from. If you have all four of these amazing wines from Igo Bodegas, and we're also featuring one from Finga Bacara. Later on, Ayana is also going to be joining us. She's the owner of both Ego Bodegas and Finca Bacara. So we are so pleased that at 1 a.m. in Spain, she's here to join us and drink some wine and share with you all about their amazing vineyards. Now, um, oh, hey, Alan, where'd you get that wine glass from? Funny you should ask. I actually got this. I went to Annapolis this week and made some purchases. I've got this wonderful essential wine glass um, at a lovely Ooh. store. And Jess has, that's not it, Jess, at, at here, a pop-up shop. And uh, they were really, really nice there. And they have great, great stuff. And I thought it was a really cool wine glass. So I got this while I was there. And I also stopped in at uh, another store. I stopped in at a place called Whole Foods. Stood in line to get into Whole Foods. But Whole Foods carries Firefly Farms cheeses. And I really, really wanted to have some Firefly Farm cheese tonight. So I picked up their Merry Goat Round, the Cabra La Mancha, and the insanely delicious Black and Blue. And so I've been pre-gaming with the cheeses and my new essential glass. And for dessert, I'm planning on having the Chouquette chocolates that, that Jess has up there. Now, I, I went by Ann Betts in Annapolis this week and picked up the chocolates, which are absolutely delicious. And I'll be having them for dessert today. And it was really great to see Ann Beth. Ann Beth has always been a great supporter of DMV and they carry a lot of our wines. And she's a wonderful person. So I had a lot of fun in Annapolis this week. I absolutely love your new wine glass. Now, I was also gifted one along with this new mask, the most appropriate mask ever, if you can hear me. <laughs> That's a cool mask. Also available at Hero Pop-Up Shop. Now, Hero Pop-Up Shop is one of our giveaway sponsors during Virtual Vino. So those of you that are joining us, continue to ask us questions tonight. It's going to be one of the um, most exciting shows we've had. Yana is absolutely fantastic and she has so many great, amazing stories to share with you about the vineyard, their amazing labels that they have at this winery. Um, I love to do public tastings featuring their wine because it's kind of like a the really cool label section of a, uh, of a library. So all the books that you really wanna pick up and read, these are the wines that you really wanna pick up and drink. So I think that you all are gonna have a fantastic time with us tonight. I see some repeat guests here. So I wanna give a shout out. Hi, Tanya, Tony, all the family, cheers. Hey, Austin, hey, Gary. We'll see you next week from Lake Linganore. <laughs> Hi, Holly, Mindy. Hello, Sabrina. <laughs> Hey, Holly. Hi, Jenna. I know. I also wish I had Firefly cheese. Now, you don't have to wait in a super long line to get into Whole Foods to get your Firefly cheese. Remember, you do have a chance to win a $50 gift card from Firefly just for commenting and asking questions through tonight's show, as well as going to their website. And you can order it delivered straight to your house. So that's definitely what I'm going to do soon. Although I stop and I chat with those guys all the time. And like Alan said, their cheese is absolutely amazing. Hi, Krissa. Thanks for joining us your first time here. If you have all four of these wines, we're starting with the Finca Bacara 3015. So pour yourself a glass. If you guys don't have these wines that we're featuring tonight, just pour your glasses of something else. That way you can enjoy along with us. It's a Friday night. We're all ready to unwind, learn about wine. Um, like I mentioned, we have a very special guest tonight. Actually, two of them. I'm gonna count my boss as well. <laughs> 
And we're so excited that all of you are here to join us. I see some cheers over there. Cheers. I'll drink to that. <laughs> all right. So we're going to get into the wine here um, and get started. So hello and welcome everyone um, to a uh, virtual vino with DMV Distributing. My name's Devin. I'm a wine specialist with DMV and I so this is my 11th virtual vino with you all. So thanks for joining. Thanks for coming back and seeing my weird shirts and ties and all the amazing various wines that we are uh, showing to you guys. Um, we do have four delicious reds from Humia, Spain, like I mentioned earlier, um, and also our two very special guests. The first guest um, is Alan Emery. He's the founder and owner of DMV Distributing. He is also my boss. So make sure that you bug him with a lot of really great questions tonight and also be nice to him because it's his first time on Virtual Vino. And this was a big surprise. So I'm sure all of our DMV family are out there like, what? And then they're sipping their wine and, and kudos to you. Um, now remember, we do have a poll at the end of the video. If you vote for your favorite wine during tonight's show, you do get a chance to win a five pack of Shoget chocolates. So remember to vote. Now, with that said, um, I'm going to let Alan take this away. Uh, Alan, like I mentioned, the owner and founder of DMV Distributing, first time on Virtual Vino, and I know that he had some really great things that he wanted to share with you all today before we get started. Thanks, Devin. Uh, hi, everyone. I want to thank Devin and Jess for having me on. All of you know Devin by now. Jess Packler works behind the scenes on every Virtual Vino. They both do an incredible job, and the positive feedback for Virtual Vino has been tremendous. I also want to thank all of our sales reps who have participated, as well as our wonderful guests, and of course, everyone who has been watching. And I'd like to thank the stores in Maryland and D.C. that have been so supportive of Virtual Vino. Hopefully, there's a store in everyone's neighborhood where you can get a Virtual Vino bag of the week's featured wines. Here's my bag. Along with our fabulous... And this is fairly new and really cool, and there's a pocket for it in the bag. Tasting sheets. Many of the participating stores have been offering a generous discount on the Virtual Vino 4-pack. A perfect example is Liquor Locker in Hagerstown, Maryland. Friends of mine drive to Hagerstown from Frederick just to shop at Liquor Locker. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to briefly talk about our vision at DMV because I believe it's an appropriate introduction to tonight's special guest. We began DMV three and a half years ago with a goal of introducing incredible, inexpensive wines to the communities we serve. Many people don't know that you can have both incredible and inexpensive in the same bottle. We wanted to change that perception. In the wine business, many of the best values available tend to be wines from lesser known regions and often lesser known varietals. It's been a lot of fun showing people that these incredible wines can be had at such a reasonable price. It has also been fun teaching about different varietals in different regions. Today, our guest is Yana Panesco from Eco Bodegas and Finca Picara. She will be sharing wines from the Humia region of Spain, featuring a lesser known grape called Monastrel. These wines are an ideal example of our vision at DMV. All of the wines we will be tasting have received ratings of 90 or more, and all but one is available for less than $15 at your local wine shop. Dave McIntyre, the wine reviewer for the Washington Post, has featured Yana's wines on multiple occasions. In fact, Guru Verde, a wine from Ego Bodegas, was selected by the Washington Post as the number one great value wine of 2017. I'm very excited to hear from Yana, and I hope all of you enjoy your presentation. Please remember to share your thoughts and any questions you may have in the comments section. Throughout the show, random commenters will be selected to win wonderful prizes from our sponsors, Shuket Chocolates, Firefly Farms, and Hero Pop-Up Shop. We would love it if you would like and share a virtual vino with your friends. Let's hear from Yana. Thank you. So like I said, Yana is coming to you from Humia, Spain. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. Hello, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Now, I'm sure that everyone is very excited about you joining us this evening. Uh, we've heard about it all week, Yana. And um, if you could go over a little bit about how the winery was created and established in 2011, um, 
that would be fantastic to get us going. And like I mentioned, everyone, pour yourself a glass of the 3015. You're going to hear some really amazing stories tonight. And then we'll talk a bit about the wine. <laughs> Okay, so uh, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me tonight and giving me the opportunity to tell everybody about um, who is Igo Bodegas and who is Finca Bacara and of course the story uh, behind of all, this, uh, all these labels. Uh, everything started in 2011 and it's going to be strange or maybe weird for you to hear that uh, everything started not by passion, not because we are coming from a family with... Uh, with tradition or uh, because we inherited it, uh, the winery. Uh, everything was created by, uh, by necessity. Um, we found ourselves from one day to another without a job. And uh, we said that, of course, you have to do something. Is the moment where, uh, with my experience in sales and the experience of my husband, some sort of thing, and uh, develop me, development of projects and financial uh, base, we decided to create our project. So uh, Igo Bodega was created, uh, as I said, by necessity. And uh, when you're desperate to do something, you try your best to do it the best way possible. So in that moment, in 2011, uh, it was the crisis at its top. So it was very, very hard to find a job. So of course, both, both of us without a job, uh, with a four months old daughter, uh, we had to find a way to, to get out of this. So we said, okay, um, let's try uh, to do our brand and uh, try to do something that will, uh, will catch everybody's attention. So you have a lot of competitors. There are only in Humia like uh, 45 wineries and more than 4,000 in, in whole Spain. And I can't tell you how many in the whole world. And all of us, we are going to the same persons, to the same importers. So um, something has to be different. Uh, from our side. So we had very clear the idea that we had to do uh, wines with the price, quality, and image ratio, the best one. So um, in that moment, of course, uh, we could only do that with limited uh, resources. And I started to work as an agent for other wineries. He started uh, to work as a consultant for other wineries also. And in the mean, in meantime, uh, we did our brand, uh, we created our brand, of course, in other wineries. As a young couple, you do not have money to buy an apartment, you rent one, exactly what we did. The idea was simple, just to have enough money to pay our credits and to, to, to live, you know. But it seems that uh, the labels that we did, the quality of the wines, which it was uh, understandable for everybody, was a success because uh, after only um, three years uh, the banks finally gave us credit to, to be able to buy a small land and uh, to start creating uh, the first uh, tasting room with some barrels downstairs and step by step we got to the moment where today uh, we have our own production line uh, we have our own uh, vineyards and uh, we are proud to say that we are in more than 45 countries. And of course, um, this is not only because of me and my husband. We are nothing without our team, without the people who are next to us and who support us and who accept us and uh, in the bad and in the good moments, because of course, in a company, there are a lot of bad moments. So we are nothing without them, believe me. So. <laughs> Of course, today we are where we are, uh, thanks to them and uh, thanks to a wine that uh, everybody um, understands. An image, an eye-catching label with, uh, with a nice price and with a quality that, uh, that maybe everybody may, uh, may understand. So, um, Igo Bodegas uh, was created, as I told you, in 2011. Uh, today we have... Uh, we have uh, we are doing about 2 2.5 million bottles last year. I don't know how many is going to be this year because uh, we had a lot of good points, uh, good results. So um, each year we, for us, it's, uh, it, we don't know what is going to happen. And uh, if you want, this is the story, let's say, about who is Igo Bodegas. And in the same time, uh, when things went better, uh, is when we decided to create Finca Bacara. This was in 2016 when 
by chance, think about it, it's a company that we created from one day to another. We say, we said, okay, now that we can afford, why not doing something 100% uh, monostrel, which is the grape variety from the region, and, uh, and try to do something now that we can do it as we would like to do. You no, know? because even if at the beginning you start this by necessity and by desire, by necessity and by uh, by yeah by necessity, then you want you, you get in love with the wine. You get in love with the vineyards. It's crazy, but yes, you can get in love with the with the vineyards and with everything that that this means. And we get in love to that point that wanted to do something one hundred percent monastral. And of course, this wasn't okay to do it in Igo Bodegas because Igo Bodega. It's monastrel with blend, with Syrah, with Cabernet, then we will see all the wines that we have. So we, have it, we had it to do in other way, to not be limiting. So it's when Finca Bacara appeared from one day to another, we said, okay, why not? And we just said, okay, we will do a company, a winery with 100% monastrel. And what about the wines? What about the labels? And we started, okay. Mm, when you have a conversation with some friends and you say and you talk about look how we destroy the planet look what do you think our what what do we leave to our kids what is this going to bring us is when you say wow it's going to be a nice wine if you do a label like that and you tell that to the designer and it comes with 3015 and then we talk about time that uh, we realize each day that we don't cherish every moment and we say, okay, from tomorrow, I'm going to change my life, uh, my style of life. I'm going to enjoy more my family. I'm going to do sport. I'm going to change my life. No, the next day we enter in the same, in the same routine and we continue to, with our before life, not the normal that we should have and enjoy and cherish everything. So it's when uh, Time Waits for No One appeared, uh, like the wine that uh, makes us remember that Time Waits for No One. We have to enjoy every moment and uh, cherish every moment with your family, with your kids, with your fiance, or your or the only time that you may have with you, you by yourself. So each one has a story behind, and uh, more or less, this is. I don't want to bore you, so this is more or less our story about the uh, Digo Bodegas and Quiz Finca Bacara. And um, in this moment, if you have any questions before I start talking to you about <laughs> 2015, and honestly, I'm a little nervous because it's the first time I'm online. online. So it's like, <laughs> so. Great so far. Now, um, speaking of time waits for no one, obviously that's a wine that we're not tasting this evening, but um, you have a bottle there. Can you show them that label as well? This is also sold around Maryland and D the DC area also. So, um, I believe it's got a 95 point decanter rating. Exactly. This one has a 95 point, deca point decanter. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. and obviously you're going to remember that label. So please try out that bottle as well. Um, it's fantastic wine also. It's a very nice wine to, to give it to a dinner with your friends and see mm -hmm. talk about the time. How do you, how do you re reflect about time? Honestly, it's a, it, normally the wines of Finca Bacara, uh, they are wines made with care for random conversations. This is like they appeared from conversation that we had, and this is what we want to transmit, to create story and memories with our wines. Exactly. And I absolutely love them. I actually took a bottle of that to show off with during the Super Bowl last year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because why not? <laughs> exactly. All right, so we are going to taste the uh, Finca Bacara 3015. Um, now, obviously, a fantastic label. I was so excited when we started selling this in Maryland and DC as well. Um, definitely an eye catcher on the shelf and a fantastic wine. It's got a 91 point rating by James Suckling, um, right on the bottle there that you can see. Um, and I think one thing to point out about this wine as well, Yana, is that it's organic, it's vegan, it's gluten free, and you also handpick these grapes from, from your vineyards as well, um, which is something very special, especially at the mass production that you are turning into at this point, being in over 45 countries. Exactly. So uh, what, you, what we have here, it's an ecologic wine. <laughs> and um, if I'm going to tell quickly, what is the difference? Uh, what, it, what means ecologic? If 
just to make a, a resume in a few words for, for everybody, ecologic <laughs> means that we do not use pesticides in the vineyards. Like a simple example, an apple tree that you have in your garden or a tomato that you're growing by yourself, you don't put nothing chemical products. So this is ecological. The vineyards mm -hmm. are the same. The only difference is that there must be a third certified party, a company that has to certify that this vineyard, this parcel, that parcel of vineyards is ecological. So from a normal vineyard to an ecological one, there have to be three year transition where you don't use pesticides, chemical products or whatever, except the one that are legal like the copper and the sulfur. I, I don't know in English, sorry. So, uh, fine. <laughs> exactly. so um, only that one we can use it. So that makes this wine ecological compared, for example, with the time waits for no one, which is not ecological. But if we think that in Humia, there is a lot of uh, sun and uh, the soil is calcarous, it's uh, sandy, there is no rain almost, very, very small, and we don't irrigate, we don't need to use pesticides. So almost all the vineyards in Humia region are ecological, but not all of them are certified. That's why you're going to find a wine which is certified and wines that are not certified. So this means, in a few words, what means ecological. Of course, all our wines from Igo Bodegas and Finga Bacara, they are also vegan and they are also gluten-free. All our wines. What vegan means? It means that uh, uh, we don't use nothing that comes from animal. So everybody that is vegan can be uh, sure that it, with our wines that it's there is nothing that can come from animal, not in clarification and nothing. And also, uh, we are vegan certified. We have the certification. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not going to lie, but I think we were in the first five wineries in Humia who had the vegan certification. I'm not, going to do, I'm not going to say the first one because I'm not sure, but in the first five, yes. We had it like four or five years ago and nobody had it. Uh, nobody knew about that. So we had it and we realized that a lot of people who were vegan wanted vegan wines. Of course, uh, then it's about the gluten-free, which means that the, the, there is no uh, wheat in nothing. And we also have the certification from our barrel suppliers that our barrels are not, uh, are not sealed with uh, wheat, uh, wheat flour. So also the person that are allergic to that, mm, we have gluten-free, our wines are gluten-free 100%. Um, so this is 2015, ecologic one, vegan and gluten-free. What do we have here? 100% monstro uh, with a small time in oak, like two months in American oak barrels. And this is like a very fresh, fruity wine that you can pair it, honestly, from my point of view, with whatever you want, whatever you think it can go. And they, being a young wine, you can pair it with salads, with pasta, with white meat, with uh, cheese. But of course, more time in oak, the wine, mm, they say that it's good for cured cheeses. And But of course, this is what they say. You have to try and see what do you like. Because I always say, uh, a wine, you like it or you do not like it. You don't have to, to be an expert to understand if a wine is good or not. It can be the best wine, but if it doesn't enter, it doesn't enter. But for the people, person next to you, it may be perfect. But for you, you say, oh, my God, it doesn't mean that you don't understand why. It's just not your style. So I was at the beginning, um, I had a problem with that because, of course, I'm not coming from the wine sector. And I was like, oh, my God, I don't understand why. Everybody says that this one is great. And I honestly don't like it so much. I prefer the other one. <laughs> I was like shocked and I was like, uh, oh, I will never understand. No. No, this is like you like uh, bananas or you like uh, strawberries. Mm -hmm. Like this, it's a taste, you know. Of course, then there are experts who can tell you that the wine is well done, it's complex, it's well structured, of course. But in our days, with the facilities that there are, it's very difficult to do bad wines, from my point of view. So, of course, there are Ferrari and there are Mercedes and there are... But... <laughs> yeah, they're all great, but it's your preference. And I think that's an excellent, um, you know, thing to share, Yana, because 
you know, even the comments that I'm seeing pop up here, you know, obviously people are asking us to continue these live tasting even after, you know, everything opens, it gets back to normal because it helps them find wines that you may not necessarily have picked up before. Even of course, with your wines, labels are so fantastic, but you get used to the certain wines that you drink. You might not think that you even like dry red wines until you try that special dry red wine. Some of these are more shareable. Some are absolutely delicious. There are so many different kinds of grapes and especially your winery helps people, you know, try the Monastral grape, which is by far one of my favorite grapes ever. So I know Barry's probably watching, hey Barry, and laughing because he's just gonna see me slowly deteriorate during the, the video because I absolutely love Monastral, but that's not my fault. I just love Monastral. <laughs> so many people are asking um, if we're gonna continue doing virtual vino and, and, and we will. We, we plan to continue yeah. doing virtual vino as long as people are interested in watching virtual vino. So I, I'm really glad that people are appreciating it. I, I completely agree. Um, now, Tanya does have a question for you, Yana. Um, how long will this wine age? Normally, um, the wines that are not past too much time in oak barrels, they're okay to, to drink like two years. I mean, two years from the moment of bottling. Let's say that this vintage, this one, it's a 2018 vintage. It means that the grapes were selected, were take, uh, harvested in 2018 in September. But of course, this wine went into bottle in 2019, maybe in February. Mm -hmm. It means that since February 2019, this wine is good to you to drink like two, three years. I, I wouldn't drink it after because it's a young wine. It means that he, he passed directly from the tank the bottling a little pass through oak, it's not like a six month wine in oak or 12 month, mm -hmm. and it's starting after three years to lose his properties like the freshness, like the, mm, the the floral aromas, and you know everything. Because if you if you if you try this wine, you see that he has a very strong smell. He has a a, a, a strong a strong very fr fruity nose. You know, mm, you see that. The floral aroma are yeah. present, mm -hmm. but with the time, this year, these are going to be lost. So that's why we say that a young wine should be drank two years. Thank you. Yes, yes. And that's yes. definitely yes. so. Everyone, drink this now. Stock up on bottles. Share with your friends. I think another great point to make, especially about the thirty fifteen, is that it's also a chillable red. Us Americans always drink our reds at room temperature, which is far too warm with what the winery wants you to drink it at. So don't be afraid to chill your reds a bit and enjoy it during the summer. Really, this wine should be drank at about 53 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 degrees Celsius. How many Celsius? 53 degrees. Exactly. Yeah. Just so for here, it's about 70 degrees. So you're drinking this at about 15 degrees higher than what the winery would like you to. Um, and I think that that's a common uh, mistake that us Americans make and I catch it all the time. So don't be afraid to chill this and drink it during your barbecues this summer, you know, which with your kebabs or anything else, it's by far, I'll be drinking it all summer long with my friends, so. <laughs> we, really, we really recommend you put it in the fridge, let it, you take it off and when it's like, 18 degrees, you try it and you'll find when it's in the perfect temperature. Because when it's too cold, you, you smell nothing. You just feel the alcohol. When it's, uh, you smell nothing. When it's too hot, you smell, you feel the alcohol. When it's good, it's, you will note it. You will notice it. It's no, it's no, no problem. Exactly. So and I jumped uh, ahead, I'm afraid, ladies, and I already poured the marionette. Uh, and I'm really, really curious to hear about it. <laughs> sure so thing. I, I don't need to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm to hear about the label. I'm just so curious. Of so, course. If you allow me, sorry, I will close with Inca Bacara, which, as I told you, it's a winery that we created um, by, like, from one day to another. There are very nice wines. Give them a try, honestly. Time waits for no one. It's a great wine to try it uh, in a dinner with friends. Um, it's a six month in oak compared with 2015, where, um, of course, you have an ecological and with almost no oak, then you can pair them and you can see them that th there is a difference and they both goes very well with barbecues and uh, salads and even with meat, cheese, whatever. Mm -hmm. Think that think about there are wines 
with random conversation where you can talk about the present, the future, and whatever you find in mind, create your story. And if you want to send us an email also, it would be great. <laughs> and, and never forget, time waits for no one. Cherish every moment. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we are going to give away, um, as we're setting up our marionette here and pouring ourselves a glass to uh, go over with you, we're going to have our first giveaway of the evening. So like we mentioned earlier, all of our giveaways, uh, we want to thank our sponsors. The first is going to be a five pack of the Choquette chocolates. Uh, you'll see your name in the comments and it'll pop up on screen here as well if you won the chocolates. If you win any prizes this evening, just give us um, a shout out via our uh, direct messenger on um DMV's Facebook page. Um, that way we can have your email address and your address so that we can get you your chocolates and or your Firefly Farms gift card later or your Hair Pop-Up Shop wine glass. All right, so we're gonna move on to the marionette. I am super excited to hear about this label. I try to do my own research and figure out why it is as such. Um, I found nothing. So I'm very excited about this, Yana. <laughs> so I um, think that when created the company, everything started in a, in a room, in a, I don't think it, I think it was two, uh, two, uh, 12 meters square. And we were like back to back. He were, he was doing his uh, consultant stuff and I was doing my, um, my uh, agent uh, sales. And of course there are worlds and there are moments which then they remain in your mind. And we try to put them in our labels because it was, it's our story, right? And uh, we, he, this one, it was created like how we person, people are marionette in the life, uh, in the destiny. We think that we control. We think that we wake up tomorrow, I'm going to work, this is my decision. No, this is destiny. And in fact, we don't realize that we are marionettes in this life, you know, we don't control almost nothing. So this one was done because you go this, to, this morning to, to the job, your job and you come back home without a job with credits uh and with a lot of stress and the, 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 the sensation that what am i going to do tomorrow what am i going to do mm, what should i do to get out of this so this one was created in the memory of that moments that when we realize that <laughs> you don't decide almost nothing you're we are marionette so this this is uh, where this label came from and uh, it's a young wine. It was one of our first wines. Uh, that's why it's a wine like uh, three months in oak. It's a blend of Monastrol and Syrah. And uh, of course, um, yeah, I, it's a wine that, uh, that, that goes very well with uh, also with barbecues, with uh, pasta, with, uh, with cheese, with white meat, you know, so. This is the story behind the behind marionette. So if you want to try it, uh, it's a it's a fresh wine um, where it's uh, now it's uh, it's coming also the syrah. It's blended, so you can find like um, more spiciness compared to the to the monastery by itself. Of course, you may like it or you may not like it, <laughs> but of course it's uh, it's depending on on the taste of uh, of everybody. Now, I'll admit, I bought this wine quite a few times before I even started working for DMV. I absolutely love the label. Once again, it's very eye-catching, and I'm pretty sure that it's my first wine from Ego Bodegas that I ever bought, and I bought it quite a few times. Um, I think that it's an excellent uh, red blend, and like you mentioned, it's also a great wine to chill and really share with your friends and enjoy it with a lot of different things. Um, it's got 90 points from Decanter, which is also a point to make as well. Um, obviously, Decanter, one of the um, largest wine magazines that does great wines. Um, it's a blend of the Monastrell and Syrah, uh, aged in two to three months in American oak barrels, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. so it's got a little bit of an oakiness in there, especially in the aroma. A little bit of fruit and oak, um, yeah. but very shareable, I think, that, which is very important, especially when you're having friends try new wines or you're trying new wines with friends in general. <laughs> as, like as we're all marionettes throughout the week and then you just want a good wine, there it is. <laughs> Which is a fantastic story and it makes complete sense. 
and, and the great thing about the marionette is not only is it delicious and a really cool label, but typically you'd find it for less than $13 in the store, which is I mean, just an amazing price for wine of this quality. I, I completely agree. <laughs> we have a, quite a few people that absolutely enjoyed uh, the story of this. <laughs> yeah, we all kind of feel like marionettes, Mindy. Is Not like, me, I love my job. It's, it's like, as you said, Ellen, uh, we, we did uh, wines that would be for everybody understanding with the correct price, you know? So we always thought that when everything, everything is starting by entering by the eye. So if you have a nice label on a shelf, you take the bottle in your hand to see, oh, what is this? And then if you watch the price and see, oh, it's a nice price, and then you go home. Yeah, and you have a nice surprise and you say, whoa, this quality, with this price, it's okay. Then of course we're going to repeat. And this was our success from starting from zero to become one of the five most important wineries in Korea. And because we did wines that everybody will understand because I am that everybody. I am a person who goes and he's drinking the wine that she likes. I don't understand wine, so, you know. So even when I'm talking with my winemaker, she starts like, I said, honestly, you feel that? I, sometimes I feel only a 20% of everything that she feels, you know, when she smells or she tastes, it's incredible. But um, Could you tell everyone, um, speaking of your winemaker, a little bit about your winemaker now? I know that we have some pictures of her we can also share, um, but I think it's also amazing female power here, ladies. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Yes, she, she's Irene Gome. She, she's our winemaker. She's a great young, uh, with a lot of uh, strength, uh, winema winemaker. She's going to be, honestly, the best one because the desire and the ambition she has, it's, uh, it's very, very rare. You, very, very few times you can see that, you know. She's like a, a never stop machine, you know. She, she never stops. She's like... Where do you find that strength, you know, to, to, to learn every day, to discover every day and, and to develop everything that she does with her very young age. She's 25. I mean, she's very young. But uh, this is also what, uh, what, we, uh, what we did in our company. We didn't, uh, we, have, we, we have started with people with almost no experience because what we wanted, what we, we were looking for was the character. Because the experience you may have it, you will we, you will make it. But the character you cannot change to a person. So every time that we would do an interview, I didn't care the university he has. Of course, she has an analogy and university. She has worked. She worked in La Rioja. She she has done a lot of stuff. Honestly, I don't know everything. But yes, she has a character that it's very difficult to find. And all all our people in our company, they they have character. They are there next to us in every moment. And when you're going to come and you're going to visit us, you are going to see that we are a big family, you know? So, yeah. Oh, so Trust me, yeah. we can't wait. Now, um, where is Humia, Spain? Humia, okay, so everybody will know Valencia. Everybody will know, like, for example, as we see in the map, uh, we are down Valencia, we, we are in the southeast of uh, Spain. And uh, in, uh, in this region, we, uh, there is a Murcia region. We have three DOP, denomination of origin, uh, protected, protected origin, which is uh, Humia, Buyas, and Niegla. The biggest one is Humia, uh, which has like 20, 20, 22,000 hectares uh, from all the 40 that have all the, all the region. And um, we are, as you see, uh, the climate there, it's uh, very hot in the, in the summer. But when I say very hot, it's very hot, believe me. It's incredibly hot. And uh, in the winter, sometimes we had some snow. That's good. But uh, it's like, I, I, I don't think we had like more than minus five degrees in, uh, in winter, you know. Of course, I'm, I'm coming from minus 25 in Romania. So minus five is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but, not too bad <laughs> but in summer it's very hot it's horribly hot you know so gotcha well it's yeah. quite hot and humid here now i don't know if you can tell i'm like having an issue with the whatever's happening with my hair so no one makes fun of me <laughs> i don't 
stop drinking. My my mouth is getting good. Oof. <laughs> like the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I, I think that that's um, a really great story about the marionette. Um, definitely find it in your local stores. And remember, if you're somewhere that doesn't carry Ego Bodegas or Finca Bacara, or especially the marionette, just ask the people at your local stores, your favorite store. If they don't carry it, DMV Distributing can help them. We want to support Ego Bodegas uh, and Iana, all of their amazing team. And um, obviously, they make amazing wines at a super great price to share with you all. Um, now we are going to move on to our next wine, which is one of my favorites from Ego Bodegas. It's actually a new one that we've uh, gotten this year from you all, um, but it's also a super great label. Um, before we get to that, we do have our second prize of the evening. So remember, look in the comments if you win. Uh, we'll pop your name up on there as well, so make sure that uh, you private message us your details. The next prize of the e evening is going to be from here, a pop-up shop. So you may win a super cute wine glass or maybe even an awesome mask like I did. Um, I can't wait to wear mine around. All right. And then so we're going to move on to the Ego Bodegas Akuma. Yes. So um, Akuma compared. Now we are going to take the wines from less oak, young wines to more oak wines. Yeah. So we leave apart. We put apart the marionette one. And we go to Akuma. Akuma, um, it's, a, it's a blend of Monastrel, Syrah and Petit Verdot. But what is the difference is that this one has Monastrel Piefranco. Monastrel Piefranco is the, uh, I'm going to make a small parenthesis. Monastrel is originally from Spain, from Pumia. And uh, it's known as Murvedro in France, in France. And uh, you have it also in California and Washington. I think it's called uh, Mataro, Mataro, or something like that. And um, uh, the Monastrel Piefranco was the original one before the phylloxera uh, came. When the phylloxera came, they, the big little bug eat everything and destroyed everything. But there were some uh, wineries that, uh, let's say, vineyards that saved themselves because of the valley where they were, of the climate and all this, uh, all this kind of uh, stuff. So in Humia, you still find Monastrel Piefranco, the original one. In our days, we cannot plant Piefranco because the bug is going to eat them. And uh, we have to plant with uh, American oak. Uh, this one is made uh, with Monastrel Piefranco, Syrah and Petit Verdot. The grapes are harvested by hand and uh, we bring them in uh, in small 15 kilos uh, plastic uh, cases uh, boxes to the to the winery and um, and it's uh, compared to the other ones uh, this has like four or five months in oak normally we say four but it's the winemaker who decides the optimal the right moment when to take it off from the barrels uh, compared to the other one here you find an intense um, uh, an intense uh, cherry uh, color. Um, you will see that um, the aroma is more intense. Uh, it's an elegant wine, um, uh, and you will find the the red and the red and, uh, and black fruits uh, in the um, in the aroma. Aroma, um, and also you will you will note a little the oak. The oak normally you should note it very 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 little. Not you know feel like your uh, you're like, uh, oh God, the word in English, the biting, you know, awoke. You know, don't you don't don't have to feel uh, the bitterness. Exactly, the wine should be easy drinking. It had to be like, ah, uh, um, oh, I'm losing my my words now. It has to be easy drinking. It has to enter good, you know. So smooth. I agree. Smooth. Exactly. Yeah. this wine is very smooth. It's definitely an easy drinking wine, and. Exactly how you're speaking of the even the tannins and the oakiness of this wine. They're not overpowering. So still and, great, fantastic. And, for example, we can pair it with the semi-cured cheese or cured cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we can go or uh, we can go to red meats, you know. So this one is let's say more oaky. So Agreed. Now, also a 91 point rating by James Luckling uh, as well. Same as the marionette. Um, definitely a very easy drinking wine, even though it's, it's still a full wine. 
Oh, there you go. Gary, <laughs> who'll be on with me next week. Exactly. Took the, took the words right out of my mouth. Exactly, Gary. This wine is absolutely fantastic. Um, and a point being as well for this wine is that it's on average $12.99 in your local stores. Now you could blind taste this wine. You're going to think it's way, way more expensive than that, which is, uh, you know, like we mentioned earlier, a fantastic thing about Ego Bodegas and Finca Bacara. Um, the quality price ratios of all of your wines are absolutely outstanding. I know, I know my boss thinks that right on. <laughs> yes. I, I echo that often and, and, you know, I, I don't want to take up time from Yana, but uh, there, there's no doubt that the Ego Bodegas and Finca Bacara wines just unbelievable for the price. And honestly, if you were tasting wines that were twice the price, you'd probably prefer the Ego Bodegas and Finca Bacara wines. They're just absolutely delicious. And again, it's what we talked about earlier on. You know, these re these lesser known regions, lesser known varietals, you get just incredible wine at, at half the price. And, and, and it's just great. And obviously, you all do a great, great job at Ego Bodegas. Oh, oh, for sure. Um, now, I absolutely love the Akuma. I know I have taken it to live music events with friends, and then they fight over the bottle, as well as a few of your other wines um, that we're going to talk about later. I know you brought some extra bottles along, so after we get done our four, you're going to share a little bit with everyone, especially about the great labels. Um, but this is definitely one that is a fantastic wine to show off, um, which is always me, especially around the holidays. You always go to the parties and, you know, whoever brings the best wine wins and then you get to take the rest of the wines home. You will never beat me because I found great wines like the ones from Ego Bodicus. <laughs> and, uh, and also this wine, Akuma, means now in Romanian. We created that because uh, my parents are here, I'm the only daughter. So of course, when I got pregnant, they came, they left everything in Romania and they came here. It was like a, I don't know, a nice surprise for my husband, but of course, <laughs> he, uh, they come uh, following uh, their daughter and, the, uh, and they take care of, uh, of our daughter when, uh, when we work. So all the time he was hearing me, yes, Akuma, Akuma. I was telling to my mom, yeah, Akuma, now I'm coming, now I'm doing whatever. So he came and oh. said, I've done a, a label with the Akuma word that I'm hearing. So many times each day. So Akuma means now. <laughs> and now. on the back label, and on the back label, if you can see, it's it's a very nice uh, uh, nice words where we say we identify with the simple things in life, yet we learn to live intensely. Intensely. In Akuma, you'll find an easy way to experience that moment of infinite joy in its palpable form. So in every wine, we try to put something that after you drink it, you remember it. Even if for this small phrase, or what means Akuma, you know? What do these crazy people wanted to say with that word? So it's an word that, because my husband it was not with this word in his everyday life. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, great comment from Jenna. We want to color the label like a coloring page. Oh, that is my not God. a bad idea. I feel like uh, we could make that happen, Yana. <laughs> of course, of course, we're doing it, you know? Honestly, we could have a contest to see who could come up with the best coloring. Yeah. Now, the thing is, you have to buy the wine and then color the actual label on the bottle because that would be way cooler, even. <laughs> I mean, yes. I'll take my bottle and color it. So, those of you that have this, or go um, get one and then tag Ego Bodegas in DMV Distributing, and we'll see what we come up with. Yeah, it's Thank a great you. idea. <laughs> that is a fantastic idea. <laughs> I haven't drank enough yet this evening to, to think that well. Way to go, Jenna. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are going to do our third giveaway of the evening. We have another five pack of chocolates for you uh, before we get on um, to the Infinito from Ego Bodegas. Um, so remember, comment, give questions. You've had some great questions for Iana uh, so far this evening. Like we mentioned earlier, she's joining us all the way from Jumea, Spain. Um, and it is quite late there. Uh, what time is it right now, Yana? Uh, it's like 1.15, 1, 1 in the morning. So I'm already on Saturday now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday already. So we really appreciate you being here and I can't wait to hear more. Um, you know, we're not quite done yet, but definitely guys keep asking questions, keep leaving your comments. Um, 
And we're going to keep hearing some really great stories from Ihana while we have her. And the Infinito, by the way, is one of my favorite reds um, in our DMV distributing portfolio. So I can't wait to learn about the label and this wine. So uh, the, the Infinito one, it's our top wine. It's a 18 month in, uh, in new oak barrels. Uh, and it's a blend of Monastrel, Cabernet, Syrah, and Petit Verdot. Uh, and the special thing is also that uh, all our vineyards are at very high altitude, uh, at 900 meters altitude. <clears throat> they are bush, bush vines. It means that uh, they are on the soil. Um, maybe we can see a picture with the vineyards, with the soil, and you can see uh, how the, um, the land is in the Humia region. And this one, it's um, this one, it's an as I told you, an 18 month uh, wine in uh, 18 month in uh, new French and American oak barrels. It means that it's a uh, intense dark uh, dark color, um, but it's clean and bright at the same time. So you can see in the photo the vineyards, the the winery is in the back, and you can see the the, the bush, the the vines that are very small, and the land it's uh, like like walking on the stones, you know, it's it's incredible. When I got in this region, I couldn't imagine that from this soil, there can be plants getting out. And yes, they are coming and they are coming the, the best monastery uh, from uh, from uh, from Spain. So these are the, the vineyards, so you can have an idea how, how, it, how they are. So from this kind of vineyards, uh, we have our uh, Infinito uh, from our selective parcels, uh, which we have in our property. And uh, what you'll find here that uh, the nose is very powerful, uh, but in the meantime, it's fresh. Uh, you will see like um, elegance, uh, elegant notes of crianza. Uh, and, yeah, crianza means like uh, wine in, uh, in oak. And um, also like toasted notes and balsamic one. Um, but of course, it's a, this wine, yes, it's a wine that should be paired with pure cheese and with maybe red, red meat, you know, like uh, not at a point, not uh, very well done. But this is a, it's a wine that, of course, you should open it, pour it and let it like half an hour, please, to, 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 be, to have the time to open itself and to be able to take the, the, best, uh, the best of it. Don't drink it like open and drink it because you are going to maybe, you are going to, to feel it like closed. No, give it time like with the, with the oxygen to open itself and enjoy it it's a uh, honestly it's our top wine and it was created um also uh, the name it's coming because of the infinity of things i mean there is no limit when you want to do something think that for us it was a very tough period the first two years was were horrible and uh, you realize in that moment there is no limit in whatever you want to do just do it take the risk so um, honestly, it's uh, it's our top wine. It's uh, 18 months in new oak barrels, and you have to leave it uh, decant for at least 20, 20 half an hour. And I don't know. I hope you like it. I hope you will enjoy it. And anytime, any comments or critics, please you can you are free to send us emails to info of Ego Bodegas. I receive them, <laughs> and I accept everything. We try to correct. Uh, the, the 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 mistakes that we make. Of course, we are human beings. We do mistakes as everybody. And uh, yeah, this is the infinito. So, so infinito is what we refer to in the business as a big boy. And you're right; it does it does need to be decanted for a little while. Um, it's an absolutely incredible wine. In the, you know, DMV has the reputation as selling just great great wine but mostly under twenty dollars and quite honestly we struggled when it comes to wines that cost even twenty twenty one twenty two dollars because we have this reputation of selling less expensive wines however infinito has always been the exception infinito is just so incredible for the price and uh you know, we take it out to stores and, and we we taste the uh, store owners and the buyers on the infinito they're they're convinced it's a napa valley cabernet that's going to cost 50 or $60. And so it, it is the, again, like I said, the exception to the rule for our company. It's just absolutely unbelievable for the price. And uh, I know you didn't, you don't want to uh, boast about it, but 
the you know it's it's got some incredible ratings and the next vintage uh, we just got in stock at DMV this week, I believe, and mm -hmm. the, uh, the new vintage, which I think we started selling now, is 93 points from Wine Spectator, which is an incredible rating for a wine in this price range. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, it has a very good. Uh, he got very good scores with the new vintage, 93 points Wine Spectator, and of course, you are going to receive uh, soon uh, in the United States. Uh, the new Goru Gold, which has also 93 points, my spectator. So be prepared for uh, for the new legend <laughs> on the market <laughs> because <laughs> it's going to arrive, uh, I think, maybe in one month. So this one, for example, it's a uh, 12 month in, uh, in uh, New York barrels. And it has a very nice story. As you can see, we have several wines with this uh, strange, hairy man, uh, sorry, with the back. Uh, with this, this strange, crazy man on the labels. So uh, when we bought uh, the land, there was a very small house uh, in the land. And uh, the, the guy who sold us, who told us the story of that house. We don't know how much the legend or true or um, yeah, The legend says um, the, the house was of a man called uh, Guru Gu. Um, and it was a man of a blind, uh, of a one blind eye. So you can see the, the house there. And uh, it seems that uh, this man, uh, they say, the, the elders uh, in Humia, that this guy was like uh, Don Juan. It means that he had uh, several women in the same time, and none of them was jealous with the other one. Of course, when my husband heard that, he was like, oh, it's not possible. It, it's incredible. Of course, a part of that, they said that the only thing that this man loved, it was his vineyards, who everybody was jealous because of his vineyards were the best. Of course, but th this wasn't the point. This the point was that when my husband heard that it was the house of a man who had several women at the same time, and none of them was jealous with the other one, and it was like a Casanova, he went, he talked with the designer, and they both come came with this label. Sorry, I'm lost. With this label, which was our bestseller, and it's still our bestseller in all the countries. Believe me. Of course, of the demand of the of at the demand. Of, uh, of, sorry, excuse me. So, uh, of the demand of uh, our uh, clients, we created uh, the Goru Gold, which is a 12 month, because this one is a fourth month, you know, this one is a 12 month in, uh, in Oak. So, we presented it to, to my spectator this year and we got 93 points. So, don't lose it. <laughs> it's a very nice uh, quality price wine. And uh, this is the story behind this uh, strange, hairy, crazy man. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, I absolutely love the Guru Red, the Guru Gold. Um, we can't wait. Um, like we mentioned earlier, and we've you know been chatting with Iana all week long. We already have stores that are begging us to get this in as soon as possible, and to you know hound Iana even when we're on this evening with her to bring this in because they want this in their stores to bring to you. So definitely a fantastic problem to have Iana. Um, <laughs> And of course, you know, we've been bugging you all week about it just, just to mess with you. But I think all of our our customers, all of our friends that drink wine, um, definitely try out the Guru Red in the meantime. But the Guru Gold, once it lands in your stores, follow Ego Bodegas, follow DMV Distributing on our social media. So as soon as that's in stores, go out and try it. Um, and I think one was interesting, I remember when you first told me the story of the label, Yana, um, was that you didn't think it would sell because of this, this weird label that they had designed. Why would anyone buy this so weird looking? <laughs> <laughs> when my husband showed, me, showed it to me, I was like, oh God, this is scary. Nobody's going to buy it. And he said, okay. So I went to a fair and everybody came. And since that moment in our company, Everybody says, if a label, if Yona likes a label, it's not going to sell. If Yona doesn't like a label, it's going to sell. <laughs> so this is my, uh, my fame that I have in the company, that I don't have a uh, design uh, taste, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, then you're still quite valuable. So at least they can do the opposite, I suppose. But <laughs> they wouldn't know what to do without you. <laughs> And Devin, you mentioned that the uh, Goro Gold will be here in hopefully three or four weeks. Um, yeah. Just so everyone knows, typically you're going to find that for under $20 in, in the stores. And yes. in 93 point 
wine from Wine Spectator under twenty dollars is just an unbelievable value. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I think it's quite likely that when Wine Spectator does their top one hundred wines of the year at the end of the year, you'll find Guru Gold to be listed there. Exactly. And I see some love. We did mention the Guru Verde earlier um, this evening. I see some love out there from Krista and let's see who else said it. Guru Verde. Else is giving love to the Guru Verde. Um, uh, Kr yeah, Krista and perhaps Mindy. Um, definitely. And that was what year was that? 2017, the best. Oh, yeah. In, in 2017, it, it was selected as the the number one great value of 2017. Yeah. Of all the wines the Washington Post reviewed, it was the top Love one. And, exactly. in, uh, and in Germany, he has been chosen as the best uh, organic monastery. So with uh, the, uh, the, the new movie. Yeah. So we have, we have, we do good wines, price quality, not because we think they are good, if not, not because they are recognized by awards, you know, by competitions. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, there could have been another reason for the label. He's been in quarantine too long. <laughs> yeah. um, Alan, for those of you that don't know, um, and obviously this is the first time that Alan's joined us for Virtual Vino. He hasn't joined prior because he looked exactly like that until this last week when he got his cut to join us on the video. <laughs> He's like, Devin, you're fired. You told everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it is It is actually true. It, it had been quite a long time since I'd had a haircut. I agree. <laughs> no, you look great now, though. All right. Now, Yana, I know that you have one more wine that you did want to share while we're all enjoying the Infinito. Absolutely one of my favorites. And the Huerta. I did a Wine Wednesday video about this just a couple weeks ago. I got my um, one of my new neighbors to let me hang out with her horses. One of them, which is a white horse that looks like the horse on the label of the Huerta. Um, and this is one of my favorites from Ega Bodegas as well, even before I worked for uh, DMV Distributing. So I'm super excited for you to share this story as well with everyone. Yes, I wanted uh, to present, to be able to present all the wines as long as I was now with you, with everybody. So even if we want, we just taste, tasted four wines, I wanted to, to, to be able to explain you and to know when you're going to buy a wine, what it's behind this one. So everything that now we tasted, they are in the USA market. So this wine, uh, we did it uh, because, of course, w when I told you we were in that room working at the beginning, you got you have moments where you get down because it's impossible to not get down. You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I, I remember that my husband was like, Fuerza, we can do it. And I was the same, like, come on, we will do it. I don't know how, but we will manage. So. We will always said fuerza in Spain. Uh, in Spanish means strength. Um, come on, strength. We will do it. Force, you know. So when that's why when we did each wine, we put a name that remembered us the the the, the process of where we were and where we are today, and never forget from where we started. You no, know? we never. We are never going to change. We are the same simple person as always, and we are going to remain the same because. We always remember who we are, you know? So this wine is dedicated to our tough moments we had in that moment. And in the same time, uh, on I'm, it's a pity because on the USA label, we cannot put the, the, the phrase that we have on the European one because of the government wording, which is a big text. But this wine, it's also dedicated, let's say, to the strength that uh, we women, we have, um, because sometimes we say, you know, almost all the times we say that behind the, of a strong man, there is a strong woman, no? So uh, we women, we keep inside of us our fears and our, you know, and we, 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 we protect our man so he can go on, no? So on the label in Europe, it's, it, uh, it, it is written that, um, a women, that men can be analyzed women can only be loved and that's why we have an, a, an, uh, a horse which is a very elegant and in the meantime a very strong animal no and as you can see it's not a normal horse because the horse has had some has two horns it means that stubborn that we are women you know when we want to do something we will do it for sure so this one is the story behind our uh, first label so we all need in our life uh, strength and somebody to, to, to tell us, Fuerza, you can do it, you know?
So this is the story of our uh, last wine that we have uh, with you. Any question you may have, any idea, or whatever, be free to send us an email to info. We will, we will answer to you as soon as possible. And I don't know, uh, if you come to Spain, please visit us. You will enjoy the winery, the, the visit that we do. Our, my, my colleagues are doing very nice tours. And be prepared if you come in summer to prepare, to be prepared for a hot for a summer. <laughs> and uh, what can I say? Honestly, I had, I'm very glad, I'm very happy that I could, I could, I had the opportunity to present all the wines. And to you to know who we are. You know, so who is Bodegas and Whiskey Gavacara? Some two crazy people who, <laughs> who created the company by by the desperation. And uh, we are all a young team and with a lot of strength, with a lot of um, desire to, to continue and to try to continue to do good wines. We hope. Oh, we have barrels uh, painted by hand by my dad. So, yeah, they are painted by, by my dad. Yeah. <clears throat> How do we get one of those barrels? Yeah, those are incredible. Fortunately, I'm, I'm keeping them all uh, as a souvenir from my dad, you know, so. <laughs> Don't let me visit then. You're just going to see me rolling one back to the plate. <laughs> so <laughs> normally I keep everything. <laughs> because I'm just going to fill one up with your monostrel and like roll it back into the plane and, you know, I'm fairly quick. <laughs> Well, Yana, I, I am sure, you know, thank you so much from the bottom of our heart here at DMD. Um, everyone is giving you much love in the comment section here. Uh, remember, you can follow Igo Bodegas and Finca Bacara on social media. They have more wines that DMD, um, you know, is going to have for you in the future. The Goro Gold being the next one that we're going to have available here in Maryland in DC. Uh, I'm so pleased and really you know super happy about you know you joining us this evening yana um i know when i speak especially for alan um and thanking you for joining us especially at such a late hour and sharing all these amazing stories thank you so yeah, much think, yana it was really really informative and uh i think everyone enjoyed it uh, probably the most comments we've ever had on the virtual vino so i i really really appreciate you being on tonight Honestly, I really appreciate you for inviting me and for the great job that you're doing there with our friend. And because if it wasn't you, nobody would know our wine. So thank you, everybody. And honestly, I hope I didn't get too bored for, for you with all the story. But it's so many information that I wanted to transmit and uh, to, to be fluid and to not to get to walk from one point to another. So I hope I do it as well as possible. So this one, it's, uh, it's Pedro. It's one of our sales uh, managers. So, as you can see, we are all working. Uh, <laughs> all working. Yeah, yeah, he was doing the harvest, so he said, like, oh my God, my hands. <laughs> so, we study everything there. So, when harvest comes, we go there. When we have to do infinito, we go and we do whatever. Whatever is necessary, we all do there. So, this is our uh, the elaboration uh, barrels. So, you can see the, the elaboration barrel of barrels, tanks, sorry elaboration tanks that we have there um, and this is our production line imagine that, that at the beginning it was a production line that was doing like 6,000 bottles per day and now we do 3,000 bottles per hour so <laughs> a little this is our barrels this was our first uh, project the phase of, uh, of construction with our barrels downstairs and we grew and we and we where we are today so yeah Wow. The gold, yeah. yeah, the Guru Red there being uh, packaged. Exactly. So, honestly, you are more than welcome anytime and to come to visit us. And any questions you may have, please be free to send us an email. We will answer. Critics also are welcome. Believe me, are very welcome. Uh, we are conscious that <clears throat> we do mistakes. We are human beings. It's impossible to not do mistakes. So, anything we are here for you and uh, thank you so much for everything that you do uh, ellen and even and everybody for buying our wines and paying them and i don't know thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> thank you anna um like i mentioned earlier everyone please do follow their social media um we'll post the links for you as well uh, give this winery some love and yana um i know i can speak for alan our whole team here at dmv distributing we can't wait until we can come visit you 
We also would love you to visit us someday. Um, and, you know, I know your tasting room is gorgeous there. Uh, but to also have you back on virtual vino sometime would be fantastic. We, you know, we have more wines that we can share with you all from Ego Bodegas in the future. Um, but go out to your local stores and give this special winery some love, everyone. Share it with your friends. Chris, I'll see. <laughs> all, all the love to you, Yana. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, believe me. I, 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 I have my hands, I have my hands that are wet and my mouth, I, I think I could drink a few tons of water. <laughs> so. Well, it was a pleasure. Um, we will let you go for now, Ayana. Like I mentioned, uh, we can't wait to have you back. Uh, guys, uh, we're going to let Ayana go. It is quite late there, so it's kind of back to the college days of drinking at 2 a.m. So it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. And never forget, time waits for Noah. Let's cherish every moment. I I will drink that. Everyone, cheers to Yana. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yana. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> Oh, Alan, that was fantastic. I learned so much about Igabo Degas and Finca Bacara. Um, you know, we can chat a little bit more about it with everyone. I see a lot of great comments over here. Now, everyone that has joined us, thank you so much. Um, we do have one more final giveaway this evening, our $50 Firefly Farms gift card for you. So before we go, uh, we're going to give a shout out to whoever wins that. They're an artisan and award winemaking cheesemaker here in uh, um Maryland. They have one location in Accident, Maryland, and then one that just opened up in Baltimore. So we'll post links to both of those and share um, share Firefly Farms with everyone. Give them some love as well. We want to thank all of our giveaway sponsors, Choquette Chocolates, here a pop-up shop. Uh, I absolutely love my wine glass. Alan, how's yours going? Uh, it's going quickly. I didn't get to see yours earlier. It says essential because we are essential and we have been for the past few months. Which is where, oh, fantastic. Alan, you're essential. And we want to thank everyone for joining us. Um, now, those of you that also joined this evening, you're going to be automatically put in for a chance to win a $600 SVS speaker next week. So uh, Gary is going to be joining us next week. Alan, I know you can talk a little bit more about Gary as well. Um, He's going to be joining us along with all of our great wines next week that we're going to get into in just a second. And I'm super excited about next week as well. Um, once again, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. I know that Alan has some closing remarks that he wants to share with you uh, before we let you all go to enjoy the rest of your wine. Like Devin, I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. And uh, I hope you all found the presentation as interesting and fun as I did. Uh, a big thanks to Yana again, who joined us well well after midnight and in Spain, and she shared some incredible wines from Ego Bodegas and Finca Bacara. Next week, we will be featuring five miniature bottles of wine. These are perfect for sharing at a socially distant wine tasting with friends and family. Everybody can have their own individual bottle. Cassandra Rose and the wine specialist for Tussock Jumper will be joining us. Cassandra has been on virtual vino once before, and she is very informative. Four of next week's wines, two whites and two reds, are from Tussock Jumper. These come in a neat little plastic bottle, which you can see now, and uh, they also have cups. So great for the beach, great for the pool, great for a boat. Our fifth wine will be Mastatina Prosecco, and uh, it received a 96-point rating from Decanter Magazine. The Mastatina will be presented by Gary Yacoubian, who is a wine aficionado and also a good friend and neighbor of mine in Lake Linganore. Gary owns SVS, which is a uh, high-end speaking company. They also do subwoofers and other audio equipment. His company will be giving away a pair of speakers valued at $600 during our show. To learn more about SVS, please check out the link on our Facebook page, DMV Dist. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Chuket Chocolate, Hero Pop-Up Shop, and Firefly Farms. There are links to these wonderful supporters on our Facebook page as well. Devin and I will stay on if anyone has questions for us. Otherwise, have a great week, and we look forward to seeing all of you next Friday at 7 p.m. Thank you. Thanks for giving my tie some love, Steve. <laughs>
Austin made yeah, and as you can see, those oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Devin. This is this is why they don't let me on the show very often. Oh no, you're uh, great. Yeah, it, it's great to mention. I Austin made a great point about the cups being yeah. recyclable. Yeah, the cups are recyclable. Even the Tussock Jumper Minis, they're also they float. So if you're tubing with friends and you're like, oh no, this is like my eighth mini, and you drop it, it's not going to sink, and you're going to lose your wine. You can still grab it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that before we go. Important information. <laughs> it's important. And remember, follow us on social media, everyone, because we're going to be sharing these really great new products. You don't want to miss out on having the minis this summer. They're excellent wines. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> um, and we'll post where you can find all five of those miniatures at local stores around Maryland and DC on our Facebook page, especially. So you can go out. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit of mini next weekend. So make sure you get enough for your friends to try along with you. Um, I, I can't wait to try them out. Have Cassandra back. Um, looking forward to meeting Gary. And uh, I'm definitely going to make some aliases on Facebook to try them in the speakers. They think I'm kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll let one of you great folks win it. But if Debbie Harry wins it, Alan, like I mentioned, that's that's not me. I'm actually I'm getting ready to order my speakers for, for the man cave, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting them in. I, I feel like I need might need to um, chat with Gary as well about some good speakers. Now, remember everyone that's still here with us. Uh, vote in our poll. I know that it's already posted as of about a half hour ago. So vote for your favorite wine during this evening's tasting. And you'll also be entered in for a chance to win a five pack of the Choquette chocolates. So vote for your favorite. I know this evening is super hard to vote for your favorite, um, but I always pick one anyway. I try my best. Yeah, and Chris, I know it's so great for Iana to join us, especially all the way in Spain. <laughs> They're six hours ahead of us. Um, so it's also fantastic for us to be able to reach out to her and for her to join us and share all of those fantastic wines with you. And so many great stories. I absolutely love all the stories and um, even how they established their wineries. You know, so fantastic, Alan. Yeah, it, it's really cool that when you get to hear the background and uh, and I think that uh, Yana just did an incredible job of explaining. Um, I mean, it made you feel like you were there almost, and it, and it was it was really really interesting. And I'm glad we're able to have guests like Yana on, and they, they bring so much to it. So, I, I agree. Well, Alan, it was a pleasure also to have you join me this evening. I'm not just saying that because I've drank some of my favorite wines, and you're my boss. But it was awesome to have you on tonight. Um, thank you so much. For those of you that joined in late, Alan Emery, he is the founder and owner of DMP Distributing. Um, you know, we have a great team and a really wonderful working family at DMV Distributing. So it's my absolute pleasure to work for this great company and bring you these amazing wines um, all around Maryland and DC for you all to enjoy. Uh, so I, I really hope that you enjoyed tonight as much as I did. Alan, I feel like did you have a good time. I had a great time, and uh, as I said earlier, I can't thank you and Jess enough for the quality job you guys do on on virtual vino. I mean, obviously, we're a wine company, and this is new to us, but uh, but you guys are incredible, and and I think it's great the way that we've been able to adapt to uh, the circumstances, and uh, and and we're very very fortunate to have Jess and Devin at DMV. Oh well, thank you, Alan. All right, everyone. Well, um, that's enough for this evening. Enjoy your wines. Please send us pictures of your setups tonight, your bottles. Remember next week to join in. Uh, follow DMV Distributing on our Facebook or Instagram. We have some really super fun events for you coming up uh, this month as well as next. We had some questions and comments earlier about please to continue with our virtual vino with DMV. We plan to do so. So as long as you all continue to support us, We'll continue to bring you winemakers, owners from around the world to share their wines with you and our fantastic giveaways. So support us. We'll support you. In the meantime, stay safe, stay happy, stay hydrated. And cheers. cheers.